Yeah, it might be the day. And the day is starting right now for both of them. S2G against Professor Pro. Let's go. And as against Ice, we're starting on your story. Oh, I love that to appear. <sighs> I love that to appear that push the man off the platform and then get the second hit on the, on him. Uh -huh. He's so good at it. <laughs> okay. Man, Prof gained so much patience uh, compared to the, all the previous sets uh, I've seen him play. Uh-oh. Good. Good. Prof throw back here this time. You're off stage. Waiting a bit, in kind of new, but uh, nice drift by, by S2J this time. Yeah, that was a really, really tiny margin of error that he uh, had to account for there, and he did it, made it back without an active hitbox out there, just drifting ever so slightly. <laughs> I'm sorry, just noticed the flag on S2J. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's Sean E.O. Kim himself. <laughs> it's not one American, it's not two American and one and two, it's not two American and two Brits. It's actually two, three Brits. For when, well, two Brits, one Irish guy and one American. Yep. And during that time, Professor Pro just took out, took two brutal stock on S2J. I think the Irish people also made up like an entire biography of, uh, of S2J as an Irish man. That's true. These guys really love their Johnny Kim. I mean, yeah, the first time uh, they met them was actually also the first time I met him at uh, Air 4, I think, and I thought he was an amazing guy. He's like super funny. He's like very, very low-key kind of guy, but very, very funny person. So yeah, no wonder mm. the Irishmen love him. I feel like missed a dash there, and for, for uh, S2J, could have been really huge, but Prof making the pressure right now. Nice down tail, ready to make the cover, but the nail will stop him, and just for that, the momentum completely switched, Ooh. and right after the tail, you take it, I don't mind, back here! Wow, alright, alright, alright. So uh, after Prof being actually ahead in the game, uh, S2J just with one very solid edge guard closes out the second stock of Prof, but still sitting at 100%, being ready to die anytime. I mean, this stock is definitely ready for the take, and oh. that's it's gonna be it. No tech on the platform. Prof being ready for it. Up airing him. Getting rid of the third stock. Oh, good item there. The good drill. Just stops the approach of S2J. But S2J with a double up air here. Doesn't want to go into an edge guard situation. Letting Prof move back on the stage and moving around. Just kicking the poor shy guy here. But even with that, now he's kicking the fox. It, it was just a warm up, I guess. Yeah, wise choice by Prof uh, opting for the roll after STJ has committed to the stomp because you can react to the stomp because it's such slow startup actually. Um, man, it looks like uh, STJ is very sad that Amsa didn't make the stop eight because there's actually nobody to contain or tame this beast that is Prof. <laughs> nobody. Not even Amsa actually because he bit him. Exactly. Not even him so I can tame the beast. In fact, so now that he uh -oh. now now that he ta that he killed his beast master, I guess Prof is free to win this tournament. <laughs> free to win that tournament, but he missed the opportunity and for at least any of stage this time, still letting him taking the edge, trying to rush for it to get grabbed, and you don't want to get grabbed again. S to just uh, especially uh, if you play drop Fox. zone. Okay, doesn't go for the drop zone, realizing Prof's DI was too good for that. What Prof. an angle. Oh, no, Prof makes it back to the center stage, but very ill-advised uh, dash attack there, not being able to uh, finish the stock right here, just even after throwing him off stage. Just oh, That's got gonna be here. it. Dude, I love those. This is one, one thing that is very underutilized, I feel like, in competitive melee, is like those uh, wave land from a platform aerial fast falls, because this covers, like the back airs from the spaces, for example, they cover so much space. They cover basically the entire space from the from the uh, corner of the platform up until the ground level of Yoshi's story, because the platform is so low, and if you fast fall, your active hitbox is out for so long. More people should start doing this, calling it right now. Let's go, guys. Yeah, very true, very true. What I mean, it, it, it got Prof a game against a top 12 player in the world right now. Exactly, and this is one L, but Pokemon Stadium this time, first time we've seen this stage during the World Top 8. The one thing which is which is really important also, it's like, because the Top 8 is only about 3-0, yeah, Prof got a shot now to win. Exactly, if this, <laughs> if the rest of the Top 8 is indicative of the score of this set, then Prof's definitely gonna win 3-0 now. Oh, la, la, oh la, la, I la, know! La, la, la. I got flashbacks from the schism set right now actually because- Oh my god, Professor Bro! 
this this looked like this interaction from the how fast is melee actually video from a couple of day a couple of years back from uh, dark from the i guess from chili anyway i got flashbacks from the schism set between stj and prof where stj was just down smashing him the entire time calling every single role it felt like so maybe now stj is you know turning up the heat <gasps> only what second it's only second it's up here three times in a row mm, you're so precise professor pro but if you don't kill stj come back on the stage making a nappe making a knee and taking the lead especially yeah nasty combo across the entirety of pokemon stadium there by stj just right in time before the rock transformation comes out so he doesn't get uh you know hindered by wall tech by prof just just takes the stock and now you know looks like stj is running away with this but now professor pro one of the most technically proficient players on earth can he Capitalize on the pitch, he cannot. Man, those grabs, those grabs on the slide were so bad. Damn it! Okay, but the, the, yeah, those grabs were so sad. Up till that's on the platform rising up. Good call, good call. But yeah, those grabs were so sad. He took many percent because of it, but never mind. Two stock apiece, S2J now. With that up here, from Professor Pro taking the edge, not allowing S2J to put up a knee afterwards on him. And Professor Pro turns. <laughs> well, he knew it, but he was just a little too slow to react then. Yeah, that was so sad actually. That's the thing about a read, you really gotta commit to the read and not try to react to what you read because you already know actually. That's very true, that's very true. But uh, S2J closing up the stocks, taking a lead, making a slide about the fact that uh, that's gonna be a 3-0 maybe. That aside, pro look at S2J man, it's such a wall. Like a fox cannot sneak under, finally finding tiny opportunity. But even if he managed to drop him on the edge, S2J does not care, find it there. But the giant of miss will allow uh, Prof to Brief a bit once again. Take your situation. Me, yeah. that's gonna be it. Second game goes to STJ. We got a 1 1. We got ourselves a 1 1 score for the second di time uh, over the course of this top eight. First time we saw it with Over Triforce versus Sechi. Now we got Professor Pro um, against STJ. STJ tying it up in the second game. Now we go to Final Destination. Like, really, really horrible stage for Falcon in that matchup. Also in the matchup against uh, against uh, Falco. So, uh, yeah, this stage should definitely be Prof's best counter pick. And let's see what he makes of it. We'll see, but right now, the shot of Nair, really effective, efficient against Professor Pro. We can already get through, but he found a grab. Finally, trying to make them take a situation. I love that blaster at the roll distance, ready to make a shine if he decided to roll back, which he did. Made many percent, did not get the kill though, but still trapped. Get another grab, an up throw, a back air, you're off stage. What's your choice? All right, wise choice by Professor Pro, just keeping the ledge covered, knowing that STJ has nowhere to recover but the ground level of the stage, because there is no nothing else on the stage, and getting through with a very, very um, solid, uh, what's it called, uh, bread and oh. butter edge guard right there. Uh, STJ answering right back, though. Yeah, Professor Pro trying to move forward. That was the main thing with uh, Professor Pro, always trying to move forward. But I uh, get chopped a lot of time. High jump near this time to cover this kind of, uh, of uh, approach that Prof did. But once again, he tried to approach and he will punish him with a dare knee. Yeah, Stomp Knee, uh, one of the hyper things to happen in Melee. Every casual loves seeing Melee because of the Stomp Knees. I feel like they're quite boring, actually, but uh, you sold it <laughs> pretty well, my man. <laughs> my job, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice once again. It's just turning up the table. Man, Brothers of Pro, man. oh, good movement to cross him up or cross him down. Whatever, he fell that up smash right away afterwards while watching it as his prey. So yeah, while Professor Pro should have had the upper hand in this game the entire time, STJ is really uh, strong at fighting back and uh, fighting uh, against the odds of this stage being horrible for Captain Falcon. But uh, <laughs> Professor Pro by no means is not still the favorite to win it, at least on this stage. And he shows with a zero to death punish on STJ where he unfortunately misses his ledge grab. Well, Prof was just a little bit too sneaky, I guess. Oh, not the way! Professor Pro is starting to change his timing, actually stopping to move forward. Just going for some overshoot or wait for S2J to approach. I love the switch of gameplay and things like that. He found the grab, he found the back. Oh like, my god! Yeah. yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Falcon definitely a fatty. Too fat for its uh, for Professor Pro's uh, taste right now. But oh my god, he torches him with the up B. So Professor Pro makes it back freely. Oh, la, 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 la. Professor Pro, the tiny, tiny fist, you know, rising just recently. Yeah. Yes, my man. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, he needed to win that. That was very, very important for him. Now uh, he has 
one. He has two match balls actually, and STJ has uh, only only one more counter pick if he wins this. You know. Uh oh. Okay, good call. Oh man, S2J is going in. He's going, he's like, you, you beat me on the previous what? game? Do you think that would be enough? It's a best of five, as just you said, Mr. Love. It's a best of five. Not of a yet. Yeah. Dude, the way that STJ just converted his momentum while turning around to get the knee was looking so smooth, man. STJ looking to have like some technology that I haven't seen before. It looked weird. I gotta look it up uh, later today then. Wow, uh, yeah, <laughs> SJ taking the first stock, baff completely baffling me. Also, hopefully not baffling Prof, though, because Prof, you know, he's got a shot at winning this set right here. Yeah, it does. Unfortunately, that, for, uh, that up smash will uh, hit a shield and there's 2J with a nice immaculate space sim will find something up and Professor Bro will be like, nah man, now nah, you're going off stage, you get shine and we're back at three stock piece, okay? This is funny because in the set with uh, Frenzy that started off the top eight from uh, Professor Bro, he was really sloppy with those shine spikes. Against Over then, he hit all of them and now against uh, STJ, he just started utilizing them as a tool to get really quick kills on the, on the Falcon. Okay, get the center with SJ with the fast fallback yeah, from the top platform, as you said, allowing him to find that opportunity and potentially manage to take the stock if he don't let Professor Pro move the round, which he's doing right now. Sour spot knee and up air take chase situation. Nice shot by Prof, waiting for it, get hit by the nair, and he's back. Oh, and Prof actually in center stage position but gets uh, hit with a double. All along. With both the hitboxes of the Nair opening him up, so this looks rough for Prof. It's looking like we're going to game five right now. If Ooh, what a call out! Yeah, we're going to game five. Die große Schaufel! If <laughs> S2J can take that stock, and right now he got the opportunity to do so. But uh, Fox can be really fast on Faka, we all know it, especially with that kind of damage, that kind of pressure, that kind of take shit, that kind of movement on the platform. Getting another grab once again. The Nair, a second Nair. Oh my god, and Prof is covering uh -oh. everything right here. The stock is a clean zero to death, as it looks like. Last stock situation for S2J, potentially last stock in the tournament, losing to Professor Pro. I think he was not expecting that. Dead. Oh no, he wasn't. And Prof going in, getting back to the lead now because he got the opportunity. Getting that up throw, waiting a bit, getting another grab, putting him on the top platform. The oh airplane, he wasn't God. about to take. How are you gonna land? Back is strong, waiting. <sighs> Didn't manage to hit him. And on the reverse side this time, a bit too late. The spacing on SDJ's recovery was so <gasps> immaculate that he uh, Prof couldn't finish him, but. Prof still finishes the combo after STJ making it back from the ledge, but 3 to 1 over STJ. Professor Pro makes this a UK loser's final. He freaking did it! Professor Pro, as you said wow. earlier, after all those difficult tournaments, after all those moments that was tough for him, wow. he managed to pull it out to come here at the Dream and Rotterdam 2019 and take up on so many names. That's only his top bait, ladies and gentlemen, with Frenzy over Triforce, Ace to J, and now his boy Sechi. Maybe we don't know, but he beat out Amsa also to come here. I mean, Pro with that immaculate run took down S. To freaking J. UK, as I said earlier, be proud. Ireland in shambles. Ireland in shambles. Been freaking colonized by the Brits. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's so wonderful. Oh. Oh.